G'day, Shah here once again with four wheels on the road helping you get the most out of your time away. This trip away, we're out here on the Brisbane Valley Rail Trail. It's a mountain bike ride. We're taking a look at the first leg today. It's a 23 kilometre journey which goes from Wilkaraka Station in North Ipswich out to Fernvale. So let's go take a look. Well, good morning. We're just here at Wilkaraka train station this morning. We're just going to be covering the first leg of the journey this morning, which is from Wilkaraka station, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, out to Fernvale. We go through a little bit of North Ipswich here, but it's a pretty nice ride nevertheless. There's quite a few parks here. So I think it's time we get on the road. It's going to be a long one. It's quite a significant ride. So it's probably a good idea to get yourself a pretty significant bag pack with some water and some food as well, just so you've got plenty of uh, provisions on hand for the journey. Once you've finished a few kilometres leaving North Ipswich and get into the bush, this ride really starts to shine. fantastic ride this one I've got to say having not even known about this until very recently myself and just uh, having a chat to some mountain bikers when I was at Fernvale one day on a motorbike ride it was great to find out the information and uh, have a quick look at the place this ride is awesome beautiful beautiful scenery great to be in the forest here and it's great that you've just got a lovely dirt path that goes the whole way along. If you wanted to break this ride down into smaller, more manageable chunks, there's actually a car park here at uh, Burallon on Burallon Station Road. Pretty handy little park here and it's basically right in the middle. You can choose to take the trail back towards Ipswich if you like from here or you can head the rest of the way in towards Fernvale. So, pretty handy little area to have halfway. There's also seating around the area here at Burallon, so if you want to sit down and have a rest for a bit, there's uh, plenty of facility for that along the way throughout the entire ride as well. And similar to a lot of parks you'll find around Brisbane, you've got these gradient markers, just letting you know what the next section of the trail is actually like to ride. This next section along here from where we are, Heading towards Fernvale, the final sort of stint is uh, moderate, so a couple of hills here and there. Just letting you know about that, and uh, it's quite a handy little bit of information to have, just so you're, you're aware of what's coming up. As you can see here, there's plenty of these little information things along the way, letting you know about the Brisbane Valley Rail Trail and how it came about, what the uh, rail line actually used to look like, and it gives you a bit of a distance table as well, letting you know how far each of the places along the way is. So if you wanted to take the entire ride, letting you know how long it is. So it's a really handy thing to have. You've also got these maps as well, letting you know where you are suburb wise and uh, letting you know where the trail actually continues on to. So pretty handy. All right, well, I think it's time for us to get back on the road. The fact that this particular leg is a 23K ride, I don't think any beginners would be really taking a 23 kilometer ride anyway, so it's not really too much of a point that has to be made about there's a bit of hills here and there, and some of the stages here are a little bit difficult. Overall, it's not too difficult to ride anyway. The part's really nice, it's nice and flat. If you're a mountain biker who's gonna be able to do 20K anyway, something like a little bit of a rocky road here and there's not really gonna affect you too much anyway.
There's the occasional road crossing here and there, but most of the time they're just dirt roads like this, so they're roads that really aren't travelled on very much anyway, so it's not too much of a drama. So we're only a couple of k's away from the end now. It's been a beautiful ride so far. Through forest and down the bottom here towards Fernvale, it's almost cattle properties, lots of places with horses and cattle, that sort of thing. Really, really fantastic ride. We're just crossing over Randall's Road now. Uh, only a couple of k's to go. I'll tell you what, that was a fantastic ride. Now that we've hit Fernvale now, you'll see here next to me here, we've got all the information signs on all the rest of the trails and how many k's they are to get there. As you'll see there, Yarraman's another 138. So the entire trail itself is uh, 161, I believe, kilometers. Pretty bloody long trail, but you know, some people might like that. I believe it's the longest of its kind in Australia, the rail trail, so Fantastic work, Queensland. Love that. We're going to head off now and uh, grab something to eat at the Fernvale Bakery. As you'll see behind me here at Fernvale, there's plenty of facilities. There's a bathroom block here and there's uh, taps here as well. So if you didn't happen to bring enough water with you for this particular leg of the journey or just in general, there's taps here and there's plenty of shops here as well. So it's a great little stop off uh, to have along the way. All right, it's time to go get a feed. All right, well that was a fantastic feed at the Fernvale Bakery. I'll tell you what, if you haven't been there before, I really do recommend it. We need to get back on the road now. We've got a long way to go, 23K back in towards the Ipswich area and then heading off home. We'll see you next time we get four wheels on the road.